What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Wingit UI. Basically, Wingit UI allows you to download any Windows application that is available on Chalky or Scoop and Wingit through a simple, easy to use application. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff it can do and a whole bunch of stuff it cannot do. But, hopefully it will have more support later for NPM if that tool and so on. These are the languages that it supports, and these are the people who contribute. As you can see, this is what it looks like, and it's a really good piece of software, from what I can tell so far after using it for about a week. So if we open it up, here it is, and I am going to maximize it, of course. No, I'm not. Okay, we're just going to center it best that I can. Hmm, what application do people use? See, I'm not people. Let's try Cider. Let's see if we can find Cider. Yep, there it is, Cider Collective. These are really old, outdated versions of Cider. And it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, Apple Music. Is it gonna find Apple Music? It better. Because that's a real app. Visual Studio. Ah, there's some Visual Studio stuff. Yep, 2020 Community Edition. All ready to go. Everything looks good. What happens if we type NVIDIA? We get NVIDIA delete, disable NVIDIA telemetry. Really? Cool, NVIDIA Broadcast, Control Panel, Toolkit, Display Driver. Oh, it calls the Display Driver. Spectre, so on, Video and Effects, that's cool. I didn't, inst did I? I yeah, installed that a while ago. Huh. Cool. So, it's a very useful application. You can install Steam if you need to. As you can see, it's right there. And the way that this works is you click it and you search for another application and another application, and another application. And once you have all your applications selected, you hit install selected packages. Very easy to use. Anyway, this has been Wingit UI. I hope you guys check it out. Use it. It'll be in the description below. Bye. -bye.